comes the field for tonight's 13th race, third division of the 1998 Jug Preview for three-year-olds. $71,500 the purse. You'd like to welcome all of our friends from Hippodrome to Montreal and Blue Bonnets and all of their locations throughout Canada, coast to coast. Number one, Artis Stenham. He's by Arch Place, owned in Montreal, province of Quebec by Acuri Stenham. Rain and trained by Ross Krogan, winner this year at the Meadowlands in 151. He's winner of this year's Adios. He's banked over 300,000, 400,000 in his career. Number one, Artis Stenna for Ross Krogan. Two, Grand Avenue, a winner in 153 and one, owned by Shapira Racing Stable and Tom Crouch. He's by Cam Fellum for Chris Boring and Jeff Fout. Three, Snickers, Hanover by Arch Place. Owned, driven, and trained by Freeholds, Carl Cito, winner in 153 and 1. Four, Scoot and Wiz, owned in Palm, Palm Beach, Florida by Bill White, White Creek Stable, trained by Ron Potter, driven by Brad Hanners, winner here in 153 and 1. Five, Pan Who Loved Women by Western Hanover, owned by Peter Pan Stables, trained by Brett Pelling with John Campbell, winner in 152 and 4. Six Shotgun Scott by Western Hanover. Owned by Eugene and Scott Kurzrock. Scott Morrell with Bob Turner. Winner in 151 at Woodbine. Seven Pacific Dynasty. Winner of a cane pace elimination. Fourth in the final to Shady Character and Dragon again. By No Nukes. Owned by John Stoddard and Robert Tucker. Trained by Eddie Lohmeyer. Driven by David Miller. Winner in 151. Eight Give Me What I Need. Owned by the North Woodland Stables, Paper Clipper Farms. He's by No Nukes, trained by Kevin McDermott for Dave Hawk. Winner at the Meadows in 152. That's the field for race 13, final. Post time. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. The outside guys look for the lead. Shotgun Scott, Pan Who Loved Women. Give me what I need is up on the outside. Late lever. Here comes Pacific Dynasty. Artistena gets away. Fifth followed up by Grand Avenue. Snickers Hanover and the trailer is the local guy, Scootin' Wiz. Scramble Royal here, jumping off stride. The one Artistena, but quickly catches stride. He only lost about two lengths as they drive by the corner. An eye-opening 26 and 4 fifths. Too deep past the stands. Pan, who loved women, goes on by the early pace setter, Shotgun Scott. Back in the third, the eight. Give me what I need. Pacific Dynasty is fourth. Around the clubhouse turn, Grand Avenue. Snickers Hanover comes to the outside. Scootin' whiz, and Artis then has got about eight to make up. Around the paddock turn of the half-mile pole. Up top is John Campbell and Pan, who loved women. 56 seconds flat. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Pan who loved women rolling right along. First to flush. Coming with a rush. Here's Pacific Dynasty. Artis Stena is flying into contention as he gobbles up ground from the back of the pack. They're in the three quarters. Pan who loved women by a diminishing half a length. Pacific Dynasty with a rush between horses. Artis Stena four deep on the far outside. Snickers Hanover shotgun Scott along the rail. Moving midway on the turn, give me what I need. After that, Scoot and Wiz up on the far outside. Grand Avenue and 125. They're fanned out six wide on the drive to the wire. David Miller brings them on home with Pacific Dynasty. Artis Stena still trying hard down the middle of the racetrack. Pan who loved women is fighting back, but under David Miller's whip, Pacific Dynasty, Artis Stena, and Pan who loved women. Dynasty, a three-year-old Bay Colt by No Nukes out of Crafty Caper by Tyler Bean. Owned by John Stoddard and Robert Tucker of New Jersey. Trained by Ed Lohmeyer. Driven tonight by David Miller to cover the mile in 154. Seven Pacific Dynasty, the unofficial winner. Makes that 12 out of 20 this year. Pacific Dynasty, the winner of tonight's Jug Preview Third Division. Representatives from the Little Brown Jug, Charlie Mitchell and Bill Mulholm. Also in the winner's circle, Bob Steele, Laverne Hill, Jim Ewart, and Sergeant Jones. <laughs> 